We're very mindful of the effect of bright sunlight, particularly here in Sydney. And so we've traditionally taught that if you're doing direct laryngoscopy, then you want to avoid this situation where you've got the sun in your eyes there and then the contrast between the bright light there and then trying to see in the airway um, can really work against you. So we try and orientate the patient with the sun behind us and then it can actually assist us in looking into the airway. Conversely, with video laryngoscopy, we don't want the sun shining on our video screen and so we tend to teach um, people to position the patient to avoid sunlight on the screen and again it's often helpful to have someone put some kind of barrier up like a blanket or something but just um, to see what it's like on this video laryngoscope this is the high Nave vision pro I'm gonna try and make it extra difficult to get a view so I'm gonna pop it in I've got a really nice view there on the screen, but I'm actually going to try and angle it so that I've got sun shining on it. So I've actually got, I probably shouldn't be doing this, it's not good for my eyes, but I can see the sun reflecting in there, but I can still see, there's the epiglottis, I'm going to pop it in the molecular and lift, and there we go, I've got a lovely view. Um, and again, I'm going to move the screen. Of course, you can angle the screen, that's part of the design feature. So if you've got the sun in it, you just angle it away. But even trying to make it impossible, I can still see the airway there, which is quite interesting. And that's the way this particular screen has been engineered. Right, not bad.